Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a very quick review on the Alme Smart Shade Perfect and Correct Primer. As you can see, um, it's a purple and green primer um, in a serum, kind of. Um, it basically says it instantly smooths out color and corrects skin. The lavender is to even out and brighten skin tone, and green is to reduce redness. This is one of the new products for 2012. Um, I thought it really looked cool and wanted to see how well it would work. This was around $13.99 at CVS. Um, let me show you. It doesn't even take a full pump. Oh, and this shade right here <clears throat> is... Um, Still, you can see that black just a little bit on there. That is the L'Oreal Infallible in number, what is this, 999 Eternal Black. I'm telling you what, the staying power with that is amazing. I mean, I've had two baths and washed my hands a whole bunch of times, and it's right here. You can still see a hint of it. Um, okay, back to the primer. It only takes about... Uh, I mean, a half of a squirt to really get enough in there. This reduces redness. Um, and it's supposed to just overall help the look of your skin. I think it's a little bit slippery. Um, I think it is a thin primer. Um, with this, I think that you have to... Um, you know, wear a foundation that's a little more long-lasting because this alone, this type of primer is not going to make your makeup last a lot longer. Um, overall, I think it's kind of nice. Um, I just don't think it helps really in keeping your makeup lasting longer. It doesn't, doesn't seem to do that for me. Um, I do think I'll use it, um, but... It's not one of my all-time favorites yet. Maybe after a few more uses, we'll see. But um, I just think it's really kind of slick and thin. It does help even out the color, um, but it's just um, it's just really slippery for a primer. So I think it's been compared to Stila's One Step Primer. And, um, you know, if that's the case, then okay, but I don't know how I feel about this. We'll just have to kind of play it out and use a little bit more. I think it's good. I just think that there's others, even drugstore primers, that are probably a little bit better than this one. Focus. There we go. Um, yeah, so... Have you, I'm curious to know if any of you guys have tried this yet. I do think it does a really good job of evening out your skin tone. Um, you know, the lavender is what really, really helps. I think under a sheer foundation, this works really good. But again, it's not really going to help your foundation last. It's such a slickery, slick type of primer. Um, I can't imagine it really doing what it says it will do. Um, so, yeah, there's my review. There'll be more on the blog. Have a great day.